it welcome to hell. Two guest servants. So many ch God damn it. Hang on a second. Okay, and back. Uh I don't like the two guest servants. Um Eeny, meeny, miny, this one. Alright, uh so archers again. Alright, uh <laughs> Chloe. I think this time I'll vary it up. I'll bring uh Dude Man Face. Yeah, Dude Man Face. That's his name. Uh, I don't, I, I, Arjuna, you know, that's his name. I was like, what the fuck actually is his name? Dude Man Face, that's his name. <laughs> we're falling. Yes, we're falling. I can't see what's below us. At this rate, we'll fall to our deaths before Tiamat. I won't let that happen. Here, I give you permission to float in the underworld. Gather magical energy in your feet and imagine the ground. That way you should be able to hover a bit. That's Erishigal. Okay, I'll try. I'm learning to fly, but ain't got wings. I'm glad you two could make it, but pleasantries will have to wait. Behold. Yeah, Tiamat looks really pissed. Is that Tiamat? Then we're successful in leading her to the underworld? Yes, look up. You can see Oruk. Ishtar destroyed the foundations of Oruk, bringing it down here. The distance to the surface is over 2,000 meters. Impressive. So this is the underworld of the Age of Gods. I'm almost not sure what I'm looking at. Is it deeper? But more importantly, what's that? Ishtar's Noble Phantasm set TM out of blaze, and it doesn't seem to be going out. Oh, that's one of the Underworld security features. This happens to those who come without my permission. This law was laid down by the world itself. Nothing can survive once it's set off, not even Tiamat. So where is King Gilgamesh? Can we go ahead and deal the finishing blow? He said to wait until everyone arrived, but I don't know if that's necessary. I think this is our one chance to press on. Well, I agree, but Ershigol, King Gilgamesh is already... <laughs> we have to fight. Yes, you're right. Even if it's just us, we'd better go ahead. Alright, then I'm going to begin. Leave it to me. We don't need King Gilgamesh or Ishtar. I'll finish her off for you. Hear me, Galu spirits, the spears of rotting flesh and death. Feel the wrath of the Iron Hammer of Kerr. Everyone attack. Well, that's about it. Here in Kurt, even Tiamat is just another god. An all-out attack from me and the Galu spirits was enough to dispatch... To... Dispatch... What? The Chaos Tide is corrupting the underworld. This is bad. It, it'll take over the whole underworld if it keeps spreading. That's not all. What is this rating? Beast 2 Spirit Origin, it is, it's growing. Reversion of the Age of Gods has reached the Jurassic Age. It's no longer just a servant possessing divinity. This is an actual deity. Huh? W w what's happening? Did I do something? Spirit Origin inflation has halted, and the magical reactor core is rebooting as well. The wounds she sustained in the fall to the underworld are healing too. It's coming. That, that's the true form of Beast 2. Oh, that is terrifying. No! Tiamat is birthing more Lamu. They're spreading throughout the underworld. Impossible. We can't possibly do this. We can't be all by all of those by ourselves. I mean, the wave's coming. It'll take over the underworld. 
Quit whining, you dumb dumb, and you call yourself the goddess of the land of death, Mia. Oh. It's Ty. It's Jaguar Man. Your. Yeah. Yes, it's a bird. It's a balloon. No, it's an optical illusion. I'm the tiger that races through the underworld. People call me Jaguar Man. Why are you a. Are you a little charred? It's a long story, so let's save it for later. Anyway, I'm impressed you made it this far, Vane. Tiger? A tiger has come to the underworld? I don't believe it. Is that really a legit tiger? Read him and weep, little girl. Now stop complaining and continue with that possum attack. God damn it, phone again? Okay, and I'm back. So, read him and weep, little girl. Now stop complaining and continue with that possum attack. But, but it wasn't having any effect, and Kerr's output is dropping as a whole. Even if it isn't effective, we have no other choice. Listen, you may not believe it, but Tiamat is at her weakest right now. But if we don't do something right here, never mind the end of humanity, it'll be the end of everything. Just see what happens if she makes it back to the surface. In less than a day, she'd cover the whole world in that mud. Oh no, Doctor, is what she said... It's true. Most of the underworld has already been consumed by the Chaos Tide as we speak. You can't let it get to the surface. You have to get rid of it here at all costs. Luckily, the Chaos Tide and the Lamu are all part of Tiamat. They don't count as other life. If you kill Tiamat while she's in the underworld, she shouldn't be able to manage her paradoxal restoration. But there's already so much mud. How are we supposed to fight Tiamat under these circumstances? What the hell is that? That looks like a bunch of flowers. Gee, I wonder who that could be. The Chaos Tide spread stopped entirely? Or has all its authority been used up and turned into regular mud? It may be unbelievable, but those flowers are draining Tiamat's power. All right, I made it in time. You have a poor imagination, Archerman. When faced with a sea that births life, all you have to do is use up that life for something else horrible and more helpful. And if that's the case, the spotlight is mine. After all, I enjoy bolstering my reputation as the Mage of Flowers. Merlin, how can you be here? Don't tell me you were resummoned. No, no, no. <laughs> no, of course not. Resummoning is impossible. This is simpler explanation. I am the real deal. The genuine Merlin. I just popped over from Avalon. Why didn't you do that to begin with then? Whatever. Woo, cute! How did you get here? Ah, with the Earth a blank slate from humanity's incineration, I was able to sneak through Fairyland. I do hate sad partings. Letting death be what separates us would have just been too depressing. Therefore, I bent the rules just a little bit and escaped my tower of imprisonment in order to see you folks, of course. Yes, we've been waiting for you, Merlin. We are thrilled to see you again. Beast 2 has deployed horn wings from its back now. Look, I think Merlin pissed it off. He may have stopped the mud from encroaching on the underworld, but not Beast 2 itself. It's trying to fly back up to the surface of Uruk. What else you got? <laughs> Two goddesses trying to ground her. A pit, uh, pitfall into the underworld with Uruk as bait. The chain of heavens binding her. The punishment of the underworld and my beautiful flowers. Vain is a Nagi and heroic spirits. You have tried everything under the sun to get even this far. But it's still not enough. She still does not know fear. She has no natural enemy. She's unfamiliar with he whom I dub death. He? Is someone else helping you? Yes, indeed. A powerful ace that I've kept up my sleeve. But who summoned him? It wasn't King Gilgamesh nor the Mage King's Holy Grail. I shouldn't even have to say, it was you, Vane, of course. He said he would abandon his grand title to show you his gratitude, and the enemy is the evil of humanity, a beast. From the beginning, the conditions were right for him to appear in this land. There was meaning to all of your battles. You don't mean... So the reason why Vane's vitals disappeared in the underworld last time was because... That's right. Now, look up at the sky, primordial sea. Look up, goddess of life, and no death.
All that begins must end. So too. So too all that lives dies, and in dying, value finds. Thy vaunted eternity is but hollow slumber. Beast of disaster, evil born of mankind's folly, thy desperate wish that thy love not go unrequested is thy s is itself thy rejection's root. Of rank nor station nor title grant have I need. Bear witness, goddess of life, to the testament writ with mine own blade. God, that is a shitty fucking picture. Yeah, shocker, it's King Hassan, and this, uh, as much as I like King Hassan, this is the most forced introduction ever. This is the most forced explanation ever. It's honestly kind of stupid. Thou fallen god, to beasthood turned, if primordial mother be thy title, attend and hear my name. From the mountain abyss I come, and only death do I bring. I am the old man of the mountain, the first Hassani Sabah. The bell of evening, to evening tolls thy name. Touch not the sky, for by heaven's will I shall strip thee of thy wings. Beast 2's spirit origin pattern has changed. I don't believe it. Not only were Tiamat's wings severed, but now she's had the concept of death forced onto her. Tiamat is an enormous, is as nor enormous as ever, but now she has a normal servant spirit origin pattern. You can beat her. If you act now, you can completely destroy Beast 2. Romani, I've identified her spirit origin core. It's cliched, but it's in the head. Tiamat's spirit origin core, her weakness, isn't in the heart, but the head. Nice one, Leonardo. Vane, you heard that, right? Target Beast 2's head. This is the true final battle. Yes, and just as we should expect of Beast 2, the instant she recognized her own mortality, she marshaled all her might. She's birthing even more Lamu while she flees for the boundary of the underworld. She's scrambling up the wall to escape to the surface. Yeah, like hell she does. Yeah, that's the spirit. This is truly our last chance. Mash, Vane, we get reacquaint we can get reacquainted later. The storm is coming. Are you prepared to face it? Yes, of course, Merlin Major Flowers. And Senpai, this must be the final battle of the seventh singularity. I know I was weak before, but please give me your orders, Master. This is uh for all our friends who believed in us. I'll do whatever's necessary to defeat that beast. Let's do it. Incredible, all these flowers in my underworld. Wait, that's not what's going on. I just regained control over the underworld. All right, this is a one-time deal. I'll give you all permission to act in the underworld and give you a power boost too. The Mistress of Kerr, Erishigal, asks you a favor. Heroes of the surface, crush that evil dragon. The connection between Earth and the heavens must be severed by human hands, by humanity continuing far into the future. Yay. I wonder if I actually get a power boost or if it's just story related. Oh. All right then. I'm glad to see that the annoyance is still here, though. All right. Oh, good. You have your third skill now. All right. What did we actually get? Blessing of Kerr. Increase attack by 50%. Increase resistance to all attacks by 50%. Increase MP gain by 50%. Uh, increase max HP by 10,000. Holy shit! Uh, all right. Whew. Uh, what does this do? Increase Buster card effectiveness. Max HP and critical strength. All right. I wonder if I could Oh man, do I even try to Do I even try to tempt fate? 
Yeah, I do. Can I insta kill it? <laughs> Be really funny if it did work. God, I hope it does. Please work. Damn. Defense is down, though, so that's a positive. So I take damage for 3,000, but I get healed for 4,000. Interesting trade-off, I suppose. All right. Alright. Chloe, do your best. Oh man, got all got rid of all the beautiful buffs that uh, Merlin had. Such unfair. There we go. Thankfully, this doesn't look like it'll be too hard, mostly because of the buffs, which actually kind of makes me wonder why they're even here, because it just feels like they're here to cancel out. It feels more of a narrative reason than an actual mechanical reason, if that makes sense. It's like, all right, I take half damage from most attacks now. I heal, uh, or it's like, I lose health, but I gain it back at the end of the turn. Almost, what's the point? <laughs> we're, we're, is there a method to this madness is what I am trying to ask. Because it really doesn't feel like it. It almost just feels like a battle of attrition. I'm going to win. It's just a matter of how long it takes me. Because I've almost consistently stayed at max health. Alright, so what did that do to me? Uh, target focus up. Increased likelihood of being targeted by enemies. Treated as debuff. Alright. Uh, and you got what? Ignore evade invincible to deal damage. Okay. So nothing truly impressive. Oh wait. <laughs> Ignore invincible! It automatically applies a thing that, that uh, applies invincible. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Can I kill him? Can I insta kill him this time? Or can I just straight up kill him? Either one of those is appropriate for me. I don't really care. God, the beautiful damage. This will never happen again. So oh, it's so glorious. It's like being in an event. Being in an event. Damn, it did not insta-kill you. I keep hoping that will insta-kill you at some point. It won't, but I can dream. I think I'm more in trouble of dying by the mud than I am by the actual enemy. This battle is actually kind of a joke. Especially if you got lucky and picked Merlin. And it's even more of a joke. Game over. 
See, it's like I basically kept full health that entire time. What was the entire point? <laughs> like, narrative, it makes sense. Story, like, narrative and story-wise, it makes sense. But mechanically, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Because it, it almost just makes the battle red redundant. That's what it does. It's just like, here, fight this thing. It can basically not kill you at all, no matter what it tries to do. And this mud that keeps taking away your health will redo that and technically give you surplus of health at the end of the turn. On top of giving you health and other crap already. 